Alright guys, welcome back and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to add a video player to your app. So if you ever want to make an app where the user can play videos, then this is how you do it. However, before we begin, I want to warn you of one thing. Whenever you develop this project and you run it in the emulator, the emulator is unable to play videos at this moment. I, I don't know if they're developing um, a system where they can display videos in the future, but right now the emulator that you make in Android Studio can't display videos so to test this out you're probably going to need to run it on an actual device and if you don't know how to set up an actual device for testing then I'll make a video in like 10 tutorials probably showing you guys how to do that but for right now um, I just want to warn you guys that if you try to follow along with this and then you run it in the emulator it's just going to show up as a little black box and you're not going to see anything moving so Nonetheless, this is how you add videos to your app. So start a new Android Studio project, and I'm just going to name mine Video Player, and make sure that you select API 15, because the packages that we're going to be using, this is the minimum SDK that's going to be compatible, and then click Next, and just choose Blank Activity, Next, good enough. Alright, so once everything is done, finished being set up, we have our design file and of course the main activity. So the first thing I want to do is mention this. You see how we have this text view by default? We're going to delete this in a little bit, but take note of where it is. So we position this within our relative layout, but we still have this bit of padding around the left hand side in the top. Now this is because if you go in your source code view, Actually, let me clean up my properties a little bit so you guys can see what's going on a little bit easier. So by default, this relative layout was given to us by 16 dps of padding around the edge. Now whenever I plop that video player in there, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that in just a bit, I want it to butt up against the side of the screen. I don't want it to look like it's floating in the middle. So what we can do is we can actually select all of this padding from the relative layout and just delete it. And now if you go back to your design view, you can see that the widgets are now butted right up against the edge. Pretty cool. So of course we don't need this text view, so we can just select that and delete it. Now what we do need in order to play videos is one widget. So if you scroll down to containers, right here you're going to see this widget called video view. So take this widget and drag it right on your relative layout and just release. So by default it takes up the entire screen good enough. Now the only other thing we have to do for the design is select that video view and we need to give it an ID. So I'm just going to name this, uh, what can I name it, like Bucky's video view. Hit enter and now we can reference it through our code. Alright so hop over to main activity because this is all the interface is going to be probably the easiest GUI we ever designed. So again, hop over here, and the first thing I want to do is delete these last two methods. These are just for the menu, and uh, I don't really need those. I just want to keep this tutorial very simple, very basic. All right, so what we need to do is we need to import two things. So import android.widget, of course, the video view, and we already saw what that was. And the next thing I want to import is this android.widget.media controller. Now by default, this video view is going to be capable of displaying just pure videos. Now this media controller is pretty much the video player like you would think of it. And by that I mean all of the buttons like the play button, the pause button, the stop button. So if we just want to display a video to play automatically, then we can just use this video view. But if we want to allow the user the ability to play it, stop it, pause it, whatever, then we use this media controller. It's like video controller. So simple enough. So now let me go ahead and do this. So in your on create, the first thing we want to do is we want to get a reference to that video view, that area that can display videos. So final video view, Bucky's video view, and of course just set this equal to video view, 
right there Bucky's video view so simple enough now after this now that we have a reference to it in order to say okay this is the video that I want to display in this area we actually need a video so what I did is I uploaded a real quick sample video all I did is I actually just recorded my screen and I went in MS Paint and made a real quick smiley face in this video I just moved my mouse around and it looks like this little face is talking so probably the dumbest video ever but I wanted a real small mp4 file just for testing so if you guys want the same one of course you can find any mp4 file on the internet and it'll work but if you guys want this one then again the new boston.com slash forum slash project underscore files slash 006 underscore test video dot mp4 alright so how do we set the video player to play this video well just take that view and call a method called set video path now inside here you just throw in that string pretty simple so now we said okay this video view is going to display this video and in order to actually play it you actually call just one last method and that's video view dot start so now if we actually run this I'll show you guys again remember I said that your emulator isn't going to be capable of displaying the videos so if you actually want to see you're going to run it on an actual device but we can go ahead and run it right now to make sure we don't have any bugs or errors alright now one other thing I forgot is you need to add a permission to your manifest so and that's just uh, say that hey we want to use the internet and that's just because we are referencing a file on the internet instead of locally on our device so again go to your manifest and add this and once you run it you are going to see let me close out of this you are going to see this now typically this black box is <laughs> where the video will play and actually you, whenever you run this program in your emulator you are going to be able to hear it you just aren't, aren't going to be able to see the video so your challenge for this tutorial is type in in the comment below what this dude is saying because uh, if you can hear it then everything's working fine and also I want to mention by default whenever you take this and um, flip it horizontally so it's orientated in a different direction the video is automatically going to stretch to fill up your entire screen so that's another cool feature about it so now that that's taken care of and also I highly recommend doing this on a device it's gonna make a lot more sense but anyways now that our video is working I want to show you guys how to add that optional media controller and even though it's optional you probably want to do this like 99% of the time unless you have you know a really important reason not to but I'll just say player controls like play pause stop etc alright so the first thing you need to do is you need to get a reference to this media controller class or the object so media controller I just name mine media controller and set it equal to new media controller object now we're gonna pass in this for context so now the only thing we have to do is we take that media controller object and we're gonna call a method called set anchor view and for the anchor we need to pass in whatever your view is named right here so now one last line of code you actually take this and I know it's kind of weird but this is just how it's done and for the view you set the media controller which means okay I want to set a video player on this to media controller you think that they could just do this in one line of code but that isn't how it's done so again three simple lines pretty much get an object which is the video player and set the videos view to that video player alright guys so even though you can't see it I just ran it on a device and it works fine and another thing I probably should mention if you hold down the left control key you know how you have two control keys on your keyboard ones on the very left bottom corner and ones kind of to the right to the right of your spacebar if you hold down the left control key and hit F12 it's gonna rotate your emulator so I thought that it might show if I rotated it but again typically whenever you have a video your videos gonna be right here 
And of course, all of your player controls are going to be right here at the bottom. Pause, rewind, forward, all of that good stuff. So again, there you have it. I know you can't see it, but trust me, it's there. If you can hear it, it is working correctly. So for now, thank you guys for watching. In, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your camera to take images and save them on your device.